let's get this tree going real quick. Oh, hopefully this link tree's blue. Ah, oh, fuck. Oh! Looks like they're starting. I'll Two, switch the scene. Send this tree off while the half start. Alright, perfect. And I missed a grab already. Off to a flying start. Oh boy. But hey, at least I started on time. Make sure I got my scene switch. And I do! Look at me go. I'm almost a professional. Now I just need to make a scoreboard that doesn't look like a complete cancer. And I'll be right there with the big guys. Open up chat. And watch Dirt juke the flag. Oh! oh not quite. Yeah, Lord's gonna be by four, though. Oh, that's an early cap. The St. Paul State, second to last overall. Early one nothing lead. The beast mode looks to quickly strike back, and he does. Get rid of that. Starting over 0 0. Or essentially at an even stalemate with a tie game. What's going on here? There we go. Now my chat should be loaded. Make sure no one's saying anything mean. Alright, pups are gonna be soon. Sevens picks up the juke. Yes picks up a rolling. And it looks like... Oh! <laughs> After that kerfuffle, Beast Bow's gonna pick up a rolling mid. Elegant looks to get out, but Yes has got the yang. I'll advise grab on the other end with a juke juice on D, but that's all right. Cap Lord's going for it. I can respect it. Oh my God! Yes, misses the button. Oh my God! That's a cap. Two one. Big gay balls. Oof. Yes, pulling his inner coids just like me beating these dead memes. Oof. He's flaming himself. What a respectable captain. Ugh, sit back and enjoy a little bit of this beer. Dirt's the juke, sevens the tag pro, this mid pops hella late, so it's gonna likely go to the big gay balls unless yes does something spectacular. Ooh, Carice looks like he lagged out. Did a little bit of a quick refresh. But ASAP Cap Lord's gonna grab that rolling bomb grab with a quick defuse he gets sold by sevens swift had to be aggressive there and he ends up settling into the block 3-1 at big gay ball and now cap lord trying to contain beast mode but he's gonna go through geek coming up top coming in by two blocks are well in place but yes makes a good play Carice once again refreshing might be running to some problems with lag but Durs don't care, he's coming in hot. 
ends up getting returned. Beast mode, keeping this re-grab chain alive. Yes, is just holding the contain. Gerds is going to end up picking up a juke, but watch out! Out of position, but Beast Mode might take a bomb out. Now on the other end, Elegant's playing Anti, but that's not going to matter because Beast Mode boosts himself into a game. Or uses the bomb to do so anyways. Cap Lord with a good return. Yes, is going to go for the YOLO boost. Oh, he nearly gets it! Cap Lord's got a hold right here. Good return. Yes can get aggressive here. He's got Cap Lord with him. And that's a reset, ladies and gentlemen. T Swift's out by three. He's coming gate. He's determined to go gate. And that's going to be a 3 2 deficit now. After St. Paul Saints started on the wrong foot and up bringing it back to within a cap. Cal is hoping for the throws. Carice is coming in base. Elegant gets a return. ASAP Cap Lord on that re-grab. He's going to boost top. He's going to do the bait play. Come and gate. Dirds is having none of it, though. We have reset. Seven is going to get a grab as Beast Mode collects a rolling bomb in their base. Or in his own base. And that's going to be a reset for both teams. As Beast Mode does a strategic split, but ends up not paying off. ASAP Cap Lord bombing in with a rolling bomb. Did quickly defused and is contained for a return. Oh, big gay balls hold tiebreaker. So the playoff implications are on the line here. Much more at stake for big bay balls than for St. Paul Saints. But St. Paul Saints are given for a run for their money. With two loan, they are certainly putting up a good fight. Good OD by Carice, and they have a reset. Beast Mode unable to capitalize on the bomb and base. Alright. Both teams split a juke juice in each base. We're gonna be waiting on mid here. We got three people on each team fighting for mid. It ends up being a diffused rolling buff. Somewhere in there, somewhere in the shadows, you can hear Bonsai saying fighting for pups is an optimal. <sighs> Carice with the master gate. Is Twee Swift out by three here? Nah, he can't get by sevens. He's got the angle. ASAP going for the YOLO bomb. Oh! He takes the portal, but Sevis is all over it. Like yo mama over the pole on a Tuesday night. And it looks like pups are going to be spawning. Ill-advised grab, but both teams are going to split a tag. Time for everybody to gravitate towards mid, because that's what pup battles are becoming. Only a 2v2 this time, although I'll be for another diffuse rolling buff. And we're going to have a little bit of a stalemate here. Oh, but Elgin what, didn't stay on the flag. Kaplor's going to have a grab. He's going to juke by Elgin. Can you get by Beast Mode, though? No. That was a big contain. T-Swift out by two. He's coming in bottom. He's got the boosts. And he ends up needing to take a lap. Beast Mode with some big contain. And that's a reset for Big A Ball. Dirt's looking to make things interesting, but he falls into a contain. Carice making some wild moves and ends up not paying out off. Beast mode almost steps all of St. Paul Saint. And then T Swift almost reaches the button before Dirt's did. To no avail. This is T Swift. Nice patience here. Just waiting for some blocks to get set up. We got one flaccid from beast mode. Need to get some blocks going here. Maybe with a little bit of awareness, could have gotten the gate. But nonetheless, opportunity did not pay off for St. Paul St. <sighs> some hella good beer. 
pups are gonna be soon. Yes, eventually getting the return. And lowering beast mode into the game. Yeah, fuck the spear's good. If you ever if you ever drop by Toronto, you gotta go visit the steam whistle. It's right downtown. They got really good beer. Advertising aside, Beast Mode looks to get by too. Yes, it's holding the contained. But lack of communication lets Beast Mode boost top. The blocks are almost in place, but they were sandwich blocks. Kaplor grabbed, but T Swift able to track Beast Mode, get down, get the return, and get a reset. 24 seconds left. And Yes gets quickly returned, followed by T Swift. Carries is all alone. There's just needs to boost in. And he does. Two cap lead for Big Game Ball. Oh, Beastbo coming in looking for more as time expires. And he doesn't get it. And that should do it. So after one half of play, Safe Ball Saints find themselves down two against the Big Game Balls, 4 2. Change the scoreboard real some uh play some of this shit and then make this 4-2 uh, before they launch again there we go a little bit chaotic didn't do a whole lot of analyzing there so but it seemed like there was a little bit a little bit grabby on the side of St. Paul St. But it's been hella back and forth. Looks like they're launching, so. I'm sorry, Atmosphere. I'm gonna have to take a back seat. Off to half two. Oh, I didn't think of that. Maybe I should make that just a touch smaller. Look at that. Beautiful. That's a lot better. Three, two, one. <laughs> Off of the second half. St. Ball Saints down two. Need two caps to get their third one in the season. Also, fun fact. Probably not so fun fact for St. Ball Saints. But since week two, they haven't played the same lineup twice. Or more than once. Just been an absolute carousel on that team. Third's not getting very f and it looks like Beast Mode will fall in the same suit. C Swift on the other hand, he's getting a rub grab. I'll get able to track him down before he fishes for the boost. So yeah. Big gay balls are looking to sweep here because they need the point. They need to sweep and only DOF to split in order to secure playoffs. Oh, Beast Mode using, thinking with portals, able to get out top. The blocks are almost in place. Oh, they look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful pickup by Beast Mode. Elegant cap. It's now three cap lead for Big Gay Ball. T-Swift able to get the gate return. Now, Elegant is a norm isn't a normal statement for this lineup. Big gate balls, missing jubs. No clue how, why they're witnessing him. Might have something to do with his pre-existing injuries to his ankles. I don't know, that's just speculation. But, hopefully, jubs gets well soon. Looks like we're gonna have green team for big gay ball. ASAP's just gotta hold for days. And he only holds for like a minute of those days. Oh, Carice has gotta be huge here. Oh, boost block. What a boost block by Yis to buy Carice a little bit more time. As he needed to. And Yis gets a reset off the anti re T Swift's coming in top. He's by two. He needs to bomb in. Oh, just hits the boost a little bit flat. 
angles out a little bit more towards the bomb and he probably makes a better fight for it. Beast mode, did you can miss off that bomb? Ends up getting the kiss. Carrie just needs to block one. He ends up doing it. Meanwhile, we got a little bit of a, a re-grab chain going on. Yes, with a little bit of a premature boot, but they end up kissing. Yes, with a boost reset. Carries is going to come in. No power-ups needed. Oh, he misreads the blocks, but the blocks are still there. Oh my god, the blocks were there. Just like the turkey was on the plate, he just decided not to gobble it up. Oh, big missed opportunity by St. Paul Saints. But the play is not dead yet. They could get a return here. Oh, just inches away from the flag tile. The flash hits keep happening. They just need to solidify these blocks. Oh, sevens is huge. T Swift with the bomb grab. He's just juking. Told him for re grab. Tries to do a bait for gate. But that was only a six out of eight. Both sides are reset for pups. And it's not for St. Ball Saints lack of opportunities, that's for sure. They just cannot convert. Looks like we're gonna have some grab happening soon. There it is. Dirds gets a grab. Trying to hand hand off their beast mode, but yes, was having none of it. Cap Lord almost gets through gate, but that was a tall task for T Swift trying to fight a two v one. Cap Lord looking to get out here after a double flaccid from Big Gay Balls, but there's too many cooks in the kitchen. We waste of the bomb too. Well, my waste of the bomb is a good defuse. T Swift couldn't do anything with it. Beast mode, doing a grab. Tries to time it so that he gets the juke juice, ends up not succeeding. ASAP Caplord coming in with a rolling grab. He's looking to make a difference here. He's out by two. He's probably going to get defused here. Oh my god. That hashtag calculated noob spike. And now Beast mode's out by three. T Swift's got to stay alive. He's got to stay alive for sure now, doubly. And he ends up at doing so. Yes, being able to track down the return. Three people off re-grab, who's on re? Yes, able to stay ahead, but a lack of communication there. And this is gonna potentially be a cap. Yes, ends up getting juked. Yeah, ends up being cap. Lack of communication. Where's Waldo? More like where's re-grab? In that situation. Beast mode looks to be coming gate. A little bit of a late communication there as well. Sure, well, someone could have slid on gate if they were given the opportunity with the communication. Oh, yes, is going to get beasted by the gate. Carries has got to make a play. It's not going to happen. Dirt's is just going to walk it right in. And to make matters worse, St. Paul Saints have to fight a lawnmower and a tag pro. But nothing doing, other than that one cap where they caught him off balance, they didn't really use, utilize the double tag for all that well. T Swift ends up getting returned. He's that cap lord coming bottom, but seven soon where he was supposed to. Peace mode. A little bit of a solo grab, but no big deal. Teams reset. No harm, no foul. Seven's looking to just stay ahead here. A cap lord is eyeing that boost. Ends up juking past him. Oh, takes a wide turn and spike. And we got a little bit of a train going on. T Swift's looking to come in, but it's going to be hard with two tag pros for the opposite team. He's just got a hold here. Nothing too fancy. Ends up getting the split. Still needs to just hold. 
in order for his team to have a chance to come back. Unable to do so, our cap lords out. Dirt's gonna end up by three. Oh my god, that was really unfortunate. <laughs> cap lord ends up taking a ricochet off a of off a of his teammate, and just ends up missing the flag. And that should do it here with two minutes left. St. Paul Saints down five. They put up a good effort, but in the end, big gay balls. No, they're just too much, although I say that. Cap or Carrie is able to get by three. But... No bueno. So they're just going to play this out. St. Paul Saints are just going to mentally get prepared for the next lap. Maybe look for some positive momentum going into the first half of the second game. Dirt's going to be able to buy two, though. That's not going to help the momentum they're looking for. They reset, however. It's key swift what I do here. I'm going to try to beat Elegant to bombing into him. Or bombing into the flag. Like I'm not sure if he played much A-team. I know he's played B-team for at least a season or two. Or T-Swift, I mean. It's a pick of Juke Juice up in the big A-ball base. He's set getting a tag pro from mid. It's just surely an out here. It is beast mode, though. With the, out, with the intelligent read getting a return. Oh, he's by three. He needs a sacrifice from Elegant. Ooh, not quite in time. Have able to get in their proper position to get the return. 15 seconds left. Fat Lee just, just needs to finish singing her song. Three. And that should do it. So Big Gay Balls finish second half with a 4 0 domination in order to take the game. Final score of eight to two. All right. Four nothing. All right. So that cap. Uh, that half just started to get away. Just couldn't stay ahead, save their lives. Full lack of communication, but that's because two of these players are alone, so you can you can give them a little bit of a break for that. But there's one map left, and it's Cedar. Oh, looks like we're getting into the action. Alright. Atmosphere is not seeing much time today. As we move to seat. Three, two, one. And we are off. Oof. Nice banter. Hard to come back after someone says kill yourself. That's usually a tough one to come back. Hopefully I'm not losing too many frames. Looks like I'm alright. Usually usually kinda gets fucked up when a bomb happens like that. Looks like we're in a little bit of stalemate, but Dirds is out by two. He's going to come in bottom, looking to juke around Carice, but no, nothing doing there. Looks like we got Pup spawning. A little bit of a bad grab, but ASAP able to get a 2v1 tag pro 
He's going to end up grabbing out by two. He's going to come through mid. He's going to try to come gate. No, he's going to try bombing bottom. But none the wiser. Sevens was there. But T Swift. Oh my god. He almost caught the note of. Oh, Ace Happy Guy. Get the button there. You gotta get the button there. That's a cap. One nothing big gay balls. T Swift probably should have hit the flag towel there. But, uh. Yeah. Big gay balls got bailed out there. Another pup brown's gonna come up. Cap Lord's just gonna grab T Swift. Looking to do the same, but he's probably gonna hold off this time. Oh, T Swift in the. No, he's not in good position to win that 2v1 again. Okay, he's fixed up a tag pro. But, big gay balls end up picking up two jukes. T Swift's not gonna go anywhere. And then ASAP Cap Lord ends up boosting to a spike. Kairis is back in the base after a nice bomb by seven. And that's all the pups. Not a great use of the tag pro. But it's kind of a tough task when you gotta face two jukes. Kairis gets rub grabbed off of by beast mode. But Kairis has the boost. ASAP's gonna be by three, coming in mid. He just needs a block and he gets it. St. Paul Saints tie it up. 1-1. One, one. T Swift now looking to add to the damage. Coming in top. He's gonna be by one. He's gonna boost Juke around Beast Mode. He's gonna make G Beast Mode miss. He's eyeing the bomb, but Durs knows he's eyeing the bomb as well. Ends up getting the return. Aesop's gonna get the hand up. But just like that, Durs ends up getting out by three. And there's no one left for him to just waltz right through. Beast modes end up going to be by one coming in top. Caplor's got a hold for just a tiny bit. Ooh, ends up getting a nice split off of a good block by Yith. Who's on regrab? That's got to be T Swift here. Now, Dirge, he's looking to come in top. He's going to get by Carice, but Beast Mode bombs him to a spike. T Swift's by three, but no one's near and even close to a return. T Swift's just got a hold here. Sabin's making some good moves. T Swift getting sniped. Dirt's with the anti. Sabin's looking to boost in. He's getting the bomb spawn. What a boost bomb combo for a sick cap. And this looks like it's going to be another cap. As Beast Mode picks up an RV mid. Oh, he's just going to boat that shit. He's gonna, he looks so cool. He hangs out with the hottest guys at the chillest restaurant. It'd be cool if there was a comeback here. <laughs> just because it's just like, you know, the boat, the, like the taunt to get bodied. But I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Time will tell. Not looking good so far, though. Big A balls up 4 1 against the St. Paul Saint. Which doesn't do degrees of freedom any favors. They already have to win at least one game. Looks like degrees of freedom have to sweep this week to even have a chance of making playoff. Beast Mode's gonna end up getting a rub grab off. Yes, coming to the top. Blocks are there, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Carice gets a rolling grab, he's gonna be by two. He needs to get by Elgin here, and just needs to get him a return. Neither happens. Third's gonna be by two, he's gonna look top. Just gonna have a little bit of a chase fest. ASAP Caplor putting himself in a dangerous spot. Ends up getting out of it. Just needs a return. Yes, going for it. Oh, nice bomb by Cap Lord. Nice kiss by T Swift. Realizing that someone's is by three. No in Tyree being played by St. Paul Saints. And they're gonna need a reset here. It's starting to plague them a little bit. Need a return here as Cap Lords by three. And that's gonna be a cap. St. Paul Saints bring it back to within three. 
with four minutes to go in the first half. Tag Pro in each side. It's Kyrie's for St. Ball Saints. Comes in to help, or try to help, Caplord win the mid pup, but ends up Elegant's favor with the rolling defuse. Kyrie's going to end up with a grab though. He's going to come bottom. He tries to bounce it. No avail. Dirtz is still there, waiting for the blocks to be set. And looks like they are set. Carries with the gate. Taking the sweet time. Yes, ain't able to get around Elegant. And a little bit of a missed opportunity. Ended up take, developing a little bit slower than what was required. That play anyways. It looks like we're just going to have a little bit of a chase fest as Sevis is playing anti. Carries just needs to hold. He does. Yes plays anti as well. Carice going for a gutsy boost. Almost gets it, but Yis with or Sevens with a good grab. Durs with a clutch return. D Swift grabbing a diffuse rolling as Caplord gets returned. Totally forgets about mid. Sevens says thank you very much. Grabs that tag pro and decides to keep it on defense. Usually you take it on offense, but I guess they ne don't necessarily need to. But he's going to go anyways. He's trusting Elegant to hold down the base, and he does so. Sevens with the tag flag pro grab. Dirt's coming back on defense to try to get a block. T-Swift making a good play. T-Swift going to be by three. He's coming in gate. He just needs a block. Any sort of block. Yes, what are you doing? You're by yourself, you didn't need to go for that diffuse. And that's gonna be a reset. Just missed opportunities. It could easily be a one cap game. Even tied. But St. Paul Saints are just squandering their opportunities. Just like that. Kaplor's gotta pick a different predict or different uh, route to try to get them to miss, especially when he's by three. Beast mode is going to end up being by four. I guess that's really the difference. Big gay balls are being a lot more opportunistic with their opportunities, and as soon as they get them, they're capitalized. Could have easily been tied. They, they should have been up 1-0 at the start. They just got bailed out by a missed boost and then no one being ahead. Beastmo's going to end up by two. He's coming in butt. Caplord with a grab. He's just looking to hold. He's going to end up escaping. Ooh, very nice. Yes, has got anti. They need a return here to even swing a little bit of momentum their way. Not going to end up getting that pup, which is a diffused roll. But Caplord's looking mid. Seven snows. He's gonna get the return. Elegant picks up a clutch tag pro, and Beast Mode just kind of just kind of takes his time. And seven two big a ball. Seven's on the regrab. He's gonna look to come bottom. Kind of jukes himself into a corner. And I guess that looks like it's gonna be half. A couple flashes to finish the game. Three, Maybe a cap flag. Two, one. But who knows. And that first half goes to big A balls. The total score is seven to two. It's looking hella grim for St. Paul Saints. But I guess they need to just start capitalizing on more of their plays. And they need to get more pups. Look at elegant. Seven power-ups. Absolute monster. Alright, 7-2. Two. Looks like they're gonna be ready to go. Alright, if you are... Looks like they're ready to go. Amazing. Gee whiz, this game is flying right by. This will probably only be like a 40 minute VOD. 
Let's watch the scene. And let's get this second half of game two Three, started. Two, St. Paul sinks with quite a hell to climb. But one cap at a time. Oh my god, that's scoreboard's hella big. What the fuck? There we go. Got <laughs> tip. I'm glad uh, I'm streaming this ahead of another stream. It'll look a lot cleaner. Even though it's a hella rough put together stream. Feeling siege. A lot slower start to this second half. Which probably helps the gay balls a little bit. Terrence ends up getting a grab off that rolling ASAP. Ends up grabbing, not getting very far. Just getting a return mid. Beast mode with this re grab. He's looking to boost probably mid? I imagine. Nope, come bottom. Nice timely bomb, but. He, he ain't able to convert on that boost. There's, and he's going to be by four. Nice block by Yis. Oh, Cap Lord trying to get the top boost. But seven has studied this map like he was studying for a final. Just absolutely knew what was going on. Big gay balls are just piling on. And I mean, why shouldn't they? Jared sets up picking a tag pro. Oh, is this gonna be a no, it's not gonna be a green team. Two tag pros for big gay ball. Ooh, very nice bomb bike to re. That's gonna be a reset. Dirt's gonna go flag pro. No avail. That's gonna be reset. Not able to convert off two tag pros. But probably could have. Probably should have. St. Paul scene's just getting domed in every aspect right now. D Swift looking for a potential boost there. Gets an interesting rub off Elegant. Is he gonna be able to bomb top? Sevens just beats him there. Pups are going to be spawning soon. T Swift picking up a juke. Dirt's being opportunistic. Grabbing wall. Yes, was going for a pup. Cap Lord's going to get sniped by Elg. Stifles that offensive opportunity. Priest being smart here. Just stay on the flag. Yes, I don't know what he's doing there. He's playing off anti, like he didn't want to get baited off of a bump grab on the handoff. And Elg, not knowing what to do with all that strat of being up eight caps or six caps, decides to run right into a gate. ASAP, trying to throw some moves. Sevens is having none of it. T Swift, oh, good split. Not gonna get him any past anybody looking for a bomb. Ends up passing up on it. Eastbone's gonna say thank you very much and take the flaccid grab. Harris has to stay on the block there. He got con I think he probably got bombed away, but free run of the FC. No bueno. Dirt's is gonna come in by three. Capler's gotta stay alive. He's gotta stay alive for a year and a half. And he's only able to stay alive for a record. Time to reset the calendar year. T Swift looking for a grab. No bueno. Cap Lord on the re grab. No bueno. But we got flaccid grabs on the other side as well. St. Paul Saints, if they need to make any chance of any sort of comeback, 
they need this round of pups. They can't lose any more rounds in a dominate fashion like they have been so far. But on that same vein, they need to get the flag in base while going for pups. T Swift almost got in. Just properly positioned. I don't know if Kaplor got that third pup or not, but tag pro per side. Everybody's out of position though, that's gonna be a cap for big game ball. There's no awareness of the FC. You gotta make sure you're get as quickly the flag as possible. Beast mode almost capping there. Yes, with an ill advised backwards boost, but Dirtz is coming. Regardless, saying thank you, yes, I'll take that. Not exactly capitalizing though, it's just, just ends up bomb sniping him. Saying I meant to do that on the other side of the map, but I fucked up. Last round, or not last round, pups, I have fucking four minutes left. Oh, Jesus. Two tag pro. Big gay balls to St. Ball Saints 1. And that. My friends, unless Carice is a mega god, it's going to be another cat. Four nothing in the half. Eleven to two. Total. And the game just got away. I really hope my math, math was right on that one. Placids on the St. Paul St. side of the map. Same with the big gay balls. Big gay balls able to get the tag pro. Oh, Callus is throwing money on the table. Time for the uh, time for the seven eight cap. No, it's like a nine cap throw with two and a half minutes left. Looks like I'm not going to be late for the Pacurious game, which is hella nice. I appreciate the two teams tonight for getting these games going, even though we had a little bit of a late start. Very much appreciated. Didn't have to, but hey, I mean, they're ready to go, they're ready to go, and I certainly appreciate the early starts. bit more feeling out happening although at this point it's more frustration for St. Ball Saints but last game of the season they're just trying to have a little bit of fun with the little time they have left in the season before we gotta wait for the off season. Kaplor picking up a tag pro. He's if not able to get out. Yes has got to stay ahead here. Wait for Carice to get to the right. He certainly does. Kaplar probably should try to grab here. Might as well. And he's gonna do so. Oh! <sighs> he waits one more second and he's out. Just gets clipped by the gate. Dirds. Good timing on that button. But no payoff. T Swift saying, sit back down, boy. I ain't finished with you yet. Turds out by two. Carries gets the button. Yes, misses the snipe. So Dirds is gonna be out top. Two rolling bombs. Oh my god, not nearly paid off. That would have been nutty. But this is looking like a cap and no boats. Beast is throwing the towel on the boats. He's realized, you know what? These guys have been through enough this season. Let's just quickly cap. Oh, T-Swift with a nice juke on sevens. He's coming in. And here comes the cap. Is this the throw we're looking for? Is this the comeback waiting to happen? Unfortunately not. 17 seconds left. And it looks like Big Gay Balls with a huge sweep using Elgin as alone, who has played 
really, really well. And he does not deserve... Well, he deserves to be in minors. And I hope he realizes that. Big A balls coming up with a victory. Alright, so, as I update the scoreboard, that'll be it for me. Uh, at least for this game, stay tuned. I'll come back at you with a little bit more miners action coming up in about five ish minutes. So stay tuned. Alright, that's it. Peace.